you know, is there anything that you regret along the way, and how would you address those Brazilians to say, hey, man, you know, you, you went beyond hype, you, you went a little too far in some of the things you said? Well, first off, I offer absolutely zero apologies. And secondly, listen, guys, if you're not willing to go too far, you will never go far enough in life. And I don't care. I don't promote fights. I pick fights. I'm like John Jones. I sound like Sean Combs, and I got trombone-sized stones like John Holmes. <laughs> if you feel a lot safer about this fight now that it's been moved to Las Vegas. Well, you might want to check your local paper. You guys aren't exactly a haven for civility at all times. I don't know. I don't know just because we're in Las Vegas all of a sudden, you, you know, you start roaming around late at night. But, uh, I, I mean, listen, I, I'd rather not make uh, the trip. When, when you're cutting weight, the trip is hard. But uh, fair is fair. Somebody's got to do it. And he did it the first time. And, uh, and, I, and I would return the favor. So, you know, if you're asking me where I, I would rather fight, I'd, I'd rather not have a long plane ride. That, that's a fair statement, but uh, I'll do it either way. About, uh, about this before, and you said that you tapped out in the, fifth round, in the fifth round, but you didn't know the rules that the fight was gonna be over. Do you think, do you know the rules now, and do you think Anderson Silva deserves a rematch? Well, I gotta plead ignorance on that first fight, and you're right. I thought if you tapped, it ended the round. I did not know that the contest as a whole would come to a conclusion. I do now know, so that is cleared up. As far as deserving of a rematch, man, I don't get that talk. That, that's just ridiculous talk right there. You know, I'd love to give everybody a match. When I win this championship, I will never be a closet champion. The most frustrating thing about being an athlete in this sport is that you only get to compete three times a year. As a wrestler, I beat eight or nine guys in one day. You know, I don't get that who deserves and who, man, if you're 185 pounds and you say my name, I will give you a beating the same as anybody else. Yeah, you know, you got to understand, you have to earn pressure. If I, if I just walked into this thing and I was green and it was my, my first time at the dance, I, I wouldn't have anything expected of me. I have earned the right to feel pressure. And, uh, you know, it doesn't matter how I feel. Happy, sad, sick, and different on 7-7 at 7 p.m., 10 in the East, and only on pay-per-view. They are going to call my name, and my, my music hits those speakers. I'll put that mouthpiece in, and I will make that walk, because I said I would. I signed a contract, and I'll do it, no matter how I feel, no matter about pressure or anything else. And when Bruce Buffer gets out of my way and that ref says fight, I will. Listen, man, his record speaks for itself. He's a good, durable fighter. He's the champion, but I am the best. And, and there can be only one, and I'm not going to make any <laughs> apologies for that. You know, and he's done a good, solid job. He's a durable guy. I'm a world-class athlete. He's a martial artist. I'm a cage fighter. And there's a tremendous difference. And on Saturday night, it's going to be one more in the win column, one more for the highlight reel, and one more for the bad guy. Um, as he said, uh, what do you think Anderson's net at the conference call? Well, listen, if you knew your funeral was coming up, you'd probably have some parting words as well. You know, it's nice to see the real Anderson come through, and I don't mean his funeral in a morbid way, but it's a funeral of a career, man. This is coming to an end on 7-7 at 7 p.m., 10 in the East, and only on pay-per-view. Chael Sonnen Promotions in conjunction with Zufa LLC will bring to you Sonnen versus Silva to the end. He will step aside, and the man will walk through. Response. Why are you asking questions in English? Anderson sits here like he doesn't understand you. Ed Soros interprets, and we got to hear it a second time. First off, he speaks English, and second, we could replace Ed Soros with an app I could download for $9.99. <laughs> what kind of bizarro world are we in here? This is the strangest thing I've been part of. You know, people ask me if I wanted to go to Brazil for the fight. Sure, it'd be neutral territory. Anderson lives in a mansion in Beverly Hills. Las Vegas, Nevada is closer to him than it is to Westland, Oregon. He's got home corn advantage. What are we even doing here, guys? This is insanity. He sits over and pretends he doesn't speak English? Come on. It's like pretending you're the world champion. I can't believe... Guy walks around with a fake belt. That's insane. I would never do that. Oh, boo. Oh, he went too far with the fake belt. Come on. Where you guys been? 
It's kind of like the way you speak Portuguese, right, Joe? Exactly. 999 app on my iPhone. <laughs>